bear with me a second, please. find my pen. Um. Oh! Right. So, you do want to press charges then? Okay, yes, that's fine. Just going to write that down here. Press charges. And I'm going to underline that. Okay. Well, um, first of all, how, how are you doing? You feeling a bit better? I know it's quite a traumatic ordeal that you've just been through, so I appreciate you talking to us. I'm sorry that you have to go through this and relive it, but we, we need all the information that you can provide us, and we really do appreciate you sitting down to, to talk to us here this evening. Um, okay, uh, just before we begin, uh, are you sure that I can't get you a, um, I don't know, a, a cup of, cup of uh, hot squash or maybe some coffee or a um, a glass of Horlicks, some Ovaltine, no, uh, we can warm some milk in a pan uh, on, the, on the station stove, we can get a saucer of milk for you, no, we can um, can of Coca-Cola, can of Fanta, can of 7-Up. No, no, of course not. That's fine. You're just tired and would like to get this over as soon as possible. Completely understand. Orange juice, maybe? Apple juice? Some Sicilian lemonade? No, of course. Uh, an egg and cress sandwich? You, you might be hungry, I don't know how long it's been since you've eaten. An egg mayonnaise sandwich. A sandwich with cheese and onion and mayonnaise in it, perhaps. No. Okay, fine. I just have to check. Right. Well then, okay. Um, basically, I'm going to need a witness statement from you uh, so that we can lock this guy up forever. Uh, so I am sorry to have to ask you to, as I say, relive this traumatic event, but uh, as you know, uh, Inspector Carruthers and I were merely there to pick up some furniture that we had legitimately bought on eBay. Uh, so we don't know the full story of what 
happened to you beforehand. So I'm going to have to ask you to recount that to me now. Hmm. Oh, well, the inspector will be keeping the bookshelf. I mean, he did, he did buy it fair and square. Well, I, I don't, I don't know the legality of, uh, was it stolen goods? Because it was, it was still, the item hadn't been stolen from its original location. So technically I don't think it is stolen goods. Look, I, I didn't, I didn't want to get into a uh, debate about some cheap Argos bookshelves, uh, right here and now, I just need, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be insensitive, I just, I just need, I, ju I just want some information about what happened to you and where this guy came from, so, right, if you could, if you could just start at the beginning, okay, so you were, you were born no, I don't want you to go that far back. A bit, a bit closer. Well, you can start at university if you like, but... No, no, after... I, all I need is information pertaining to this incident. So... So you, you were coming home, and... This uh, shady character jumped out at you from a bush, and he, no, he was in your home waiting for you already. Oh, I just, I don't know, I thought that he would have jumped from a bush. Well, you're not giving me much to go on, so I just, I was trying to fill in the blanks for you. Okay, so he was in your home already waiting for you. So that's home invasion. So that's that's that that's strike one, isn't it? That's pretty bad. Home invasion. There we go. Just gonna underline that as well. And um, okay. Uh, and then and then what happened? Did you you run a hot bath for yourself and take off all your clothes and? You put the shopping away. Okay, shopping in the fridge. That's not quite so um, cinematic. I'm just thinking ahead to if they make a movie version of this. Oh, well, uh, no, that's actually quite a, a, a common thing in, in police work is uh, if you get a really good one, you can uh, you can sell it to Hollywood and they, they'll turn it into a... Well, no, this doesn't have necessarily the makings of... You just... You went to Asda and you bought your shopping home and you... You put it away. Did... Uh, was there a supernatural element that we could maybe weave into this? Was there, like... Did you get any eggs and they start, you know, frying themselves on the kitchen work surface? Anything like that? No? Just a standard home inversion. A pity, but that's that's okay. That's you know, you just you give it to a development executive and they uh, they run with it. But um, sorry, that's that's for later. We can work on uh, signing release forms and so forth later on. So okay, um, right, and and then so he just. Knocked you out. Clocked you on the back of the head with a uh, a, a kosh. Okay, well that's that's uh, that's very retro. Uh, okay, kosh is that a K or a C? I'm going to write K. That looks very Yiddish though. Kosh. Maybe it's a C. C O S H. That just looks like a. An acronym in a, a dating profile, uh, C O S H. Kosh. 
Uh, kidnapped sense of humour. No, that's okay. No, don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm sorry, getting off uh, off topic here. Right. So then he held you hostage, and he phoned Baron von Moneybags and demanded uh, what a sort of ransom in exchange for your release. And why didn't the why didn't the Baron pay up? He's your father, isn't he? You're the uh, the heiress to the von Moneybags millions, no? Sorry, what's what's your name? Yes, that's the name that I've got. Oh, you're an entirely different person, but with the same name. Oh, right. Okay, that's what a what an interesting coincidence. Oh, and that's why, that's why this guy was trying to sell off all your stuff. Oh, I see. Because he thought that it was a complete waste of an evening and he didn't want to leave empty-handed. I understand, I understand. Oh, that's quite clever, really, isn't it? So, um, right. Okay, then. Well, uh... I can I can tell you that uh, that we've got very little information on him at the minute. All that we know for definite is that his name isn't Daniel, and that he uh, that he doesn't live in Southampton. That's basically that all all that we've got on this guy, which is there's not a lot to go on. We've got a few leads, but this is not there's not a huge amount of um, information there. But, you know, hopefully, like, uh, hopefully we can get some more information on him and then really press charges, lock him up for life and throw away the key. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, okay, now, uh, as this is uh, Inspector Carella's uh, collar, what we call them in the force, uh, he is going to have to be present here and um, just basically confirm your side of the story. So uh, I'm going to have to go and get him and bring him in. Uh, his bedside manner is, we'll put it this way, you've, you've, you've heard of the good cop, bad cop routine, yes? So he's my partner, and of the of the two, traditionally, I'm the good cop, and he's the he's not nasty, but he's um, a bit brusque, a little blunt of an instrument, and he uh, he's not the most sensitive person in the world. I love him like a brother, really, but. He's, um, he, he tries hard. But anyway, please just bear that in mind. Uh, right, well, I'll go pop this on and I'll, uh, I'll leave him to, to deal with you. Uh, not deal, like you, there we go. We just have to ask. We get in trouble for not being so sympathetic to our victims of crime. Sometimes.
Well, well, well. What have we here? It's just notes on your case, but, uh, well, it's not looking very good for you, is it? I mean, for the person that attacked you. Sorry, I, I, I usually interview criminals as opposed to victims. I'm not entirely sure what to do with my inherent angry voice. If you bear with me, I'll work it out, I'm sure. You have to be adaptable in this force. Right. Now then. I'm gonna show you the evidence. which is some chloroform which I understand was used on you to knock you out so that you could get tied to a chair Whoa. Oh, I shouldn't have done that no, I'm a tough cop. Chloroform doesn't affect me. Oh. What? Where am I? What's going on? Anyway, that's the first piece of evidence that we've got. And the second piece of evidence is this pen knife. which well, it's quite difficult to open with gloves on, isn't it? Of course, now my fingerprints are all over this. Bear with me. Just going to pop these evidence bags back in their locker. Oh. Look, I think I'm still a bit woozy from that um, snifter of uh, chloroform, so. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't. I don't really know why I showed you that evidence. Obviously, you've already seen it. So, um, like I say, I'm not 
not really used to comforting victims, but, uh, oh dear, well, um, we'll catch this bloke anyway. I mean, we've already caught him, but, like, we'll bang him to rights. I mean, he's already banged to rights, but... Be comforted. Just be comforted in the knowledge that he's going down for a very, very long time. Inspector? What? Um, the prisoner has posed as one of the officers and has managed to escape. Oh dear. Well, I don't know if you heard that, but I've got some bad news for you. He appears to have given us the slip due to a case of mistaken identity. He's busted out of his cell. That's not very good, is it? Well, what we're gonna have to do now, because nobody thought to take a picture of him, is we're gonna have to get our police sketch artist to sit down with you, if you don't mind. And he's gonna have to sketch the face of this criminal. I'll just go and get our sketch artist for you. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe. And if you really liked it, why not check out my Patreon? Thanks.